Yesterday marked the one-year anniversary of a flood that closed Yellowstone National Park for eight days and cut off travel from Gardner to Mammoth for four and a half months. MTN John Shear reports from Gardner where some residents are celebrating being back in business. <laughs> This small group of river guides and other locals are cheering simply because they're still here. We have a strong community and we made it through. There were a lot of people who are very community oriented and pivoted to allow this community to pull through. You can see a raft right down at the edge of the Yellowstone River here as a group of kayakers and rafters from local rafting companies in Gardner are celebrating the one year anniversary of the big flood. They're just happy to have made it through last summer when a lot of their business simply dried up. You know, we thought about leaving, but uh, the community was real strong, so we decided we were going to stay and try and uh, just make it work through the summer. So we were taking a few boats here and there. There was a lot of support from Bozeman and Missoula and just all the surrounding area just coming down to give us business and eat at the restaurants and all that stuff. So it was a really cool thing to see that, but we made it through. Now you can enter the park from Gardner. And this summer is a much different story. With a lot of things canceled last year, we've seen what feels like a lot more people for this time of year. And I don't have statistics on that, but just anecdotally based on what I've seen, it's a lot of folks for this time of year. Someone who does have statistics is Park Superintendent Cam Shawley, who says the number of people in the park is already exceeding the pre-COVID year of 2019. In Gardner, Montana, I'm John Shearer, MTN News. The Federal Departments of Interior and Agriculture issued a joint memo today outlining goals for managing wildfires this year. According to the memo, the departments aim to have more than 17,000 wildland firefighters by the end of the year. Currently, there are 14,000 U.S. Forest Service and 5,000 Interior firefighters. Aside from the investment in firefighters for fire suppression, the plan highlights ecosystem restoration efforts, post-fire recovery efforts, and efforts to make communities more fire resilient that fuel reduction work has already been done on more than 6 million acres this year. It also calls on Congress to pass legislation to make a temporary firefighter pay increase permanent.